Hey guys, welcome back to Gold Side. When the defenders form a wall and Stryker gets ready to drive the ball into the net, the crowd goes silent and waits in anticipation. That very moment means the world to these supporters of the teams. They know that this moment can turn the fate of the game in their favor or take it away from them. Some feel the ball is going to pass straight through the keeper while others believe their keeper has everything under control. However, this isn't about those fans. This is about those specialists who have perfected their craft over the years and who make opposing supporters think, man, that's a goal for sure. This is about the players who have mental fortitude aligned with technical brilliance to fire the ball up and over or around a wall, past a startled goalkeeper, and into the back of the net. It's about those who can do it again and again each time they step onto the field. Well, today we are going to look at the GOAT when it comes to free kicks. And who else but Junino Pernambucano deserves this title? But before we start, I want you to hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. Thanks. Antonio Augusto Rivero Reyes Jr., who was born on the 30th of January 1975, commonly known as Junino or Junino Pernambucano, is a former Brazilian footballer. Noted for his bending free kicks, he is widely considered to be the greatest free kick taker of all time. Junino began his professional career in 1993 with Brazilian club Sport de Recife. Two years later, he joined Vasco da Gama, where he played over 100 matches and won six titles. In 2001, he joined League One side Olympique Lyonnais, where he played for the next eight years, winning seven consecutive league titles and scoring 100 goals in 350 official appearances for the club. Following his departure from Lyon in 2009, Junino played in Qatar with Algarafa and in the United States with the New York Red Bulls. The latter stint was wedged between two spells back at Vasco, where he ultimately retired in 2013. Junino has been described as one of the world's most feared strikers of a static ball, and for good reasons. The method he used for long-range free kicks frequently was knuckleballing, where the ball has almost no spinning motion during flight. A successful knuckleball will move or wobble in the air unpredictably, and the keeper never knows what hit him. The first time he showed the world his legendary free kick skills was in Europe with a long range free kick against Bayern Munich in the 2003 and 4 Champions League group stage, in which the ball dipped viciously at the end of travel that made the Bayern keeper Oliver Kahn feel helpless. And let me tell you, Oliver was no ordinary keeper. He too was at the top of his game. But then again, when Junino takes a free kick, it's highly unlikely that even the top goaltenders could stop that ball. He has scored from free kicks beyond 40 meters, not just once, but an astonishing four times. A 41-meter effort against AC Ajaccio in 2006, a 45-meter goal against Barcelona in 2007, a 48-meter goal against OGC Nice in 2008, and a 40-meter strike against Marseille in 2009 this being his final free kick goal for Lyon. Even before Lyon, he displayed his talent at Vasco da Gama, scoring several free kicks for the club. Junino also scored memorable free kicks for Brazil, the most famous being a curling shot from 27 meters against Greece in the 2005 FIFA Confederations Cup. Brazil would go on to win that match 3 to nothing. Also, Junino scored two memorable free kicks against Nice in the 2008-9 season, as Lyon were losing 2 to nothing. Janino rapidly pulled back his team by scoring one free kick that bounced past the goalkeeper and in the top corner, and one from 48 yards away. Leon went on to win that game as well with a converted penalty by Karim Benzema. Janino's style of free kick taking has inspired many of the top players, and they've adopted his style. Players like Andrea Pirlo, Cristiano Ronaldo, Didier Drogba, and Gareth Bale. The knuckleball free kick technique takes a significant amount of skill to replicate and strike accurately. In eight seasons playing for Lyon, the free kick king Janino netted an impressive 100 goals. On top of that, a remarkable total of 44 were scored from direct free kick strikes. Now that is what you call efficiency, folks. To put his record into further perspective, the Brazilian scored 76 free kicks during his 20-year career, scoring for the likes of Vasco da Gama, Algarafa, and his hometown club, Sport Club do Recife. Janino will go down in history as the best free kick taker of his generation, scoring double the amount of free kicks than Andrea Pirlo, David Beckham, and Cristiano Ronaldo. The only person that comes close to the Lyon legend is goalkeeper Rogerio Sini, who netted 61 free kick goals. The former Sao Paulo man holds the record for the most direct free kicks scored by a player with one club. Five-time Ballon d'Or winner Lionel Messi currently has 40 free kick goals to his name, which means he would have to average seven free kick goals in the next five years, plus an extra goal to match Janino's incredible record. Italian legend Andrea Pirlo admitted to idolizing the man from Recife in his 2014 autobiography, I Think, Therefore I Play, as he wrote, During his time at Lyon, that man made the ball do some quite extraordinary things. He'd lay it on the ground, twist his body into a few strange shapes, take his run up, and score. 
He never got it wrong. Never. I checked out his stats and realized it couldn't just be chance. He was like an orchestra conductor who'd been assembled upside down, with the baton held by his feet instead of his hands. He'd give you the thumbs up by raising his big toe. Somebody at Ikea was having a good laugh the day they put him together. Don't get me wrong. The 43-year-old will look back fondly on his career, but a move to a big club never materialized, despite making 40 appearances for Brazil during a seven-year spell with the national side. He scored 131 goals and 507 appearances for a host of clubs, making a name for himself as the free kick king. Without a doubt, the former Brazilian midfielder will go down in history, for sure, as the best set-piece taker of all time. This has been Goal Side. Thanks for watching.